What's going on you guys? Today we're learning the song Kiss Me by Sixpence None the Richer. Now real quick before we get into it, I would like to ask that if you find this guitar tutorial helpful, that you please consider subscribing. That would really mean the world to me. Now let's get into it. You are watching Logan's Lessons. Our capo is going to be on the first fret. We start with a D major chord. To play a D major chord, we're going to place our index finger on the second fret of the G string. Then our third finger on the third fret of the B. And lastly, our middle finger on the second fret of the high E. Okay? After the D major chord, we're going to a D major 7. To play a D major 7 chord, we're going to bar across the second fret of the G, the B, and the high E strings. You're also going to include the D string open. Okay? Third chord we have is a D7 chord. To play a D7, we're going to place our middle finger on the second fret of the G string our first finger on the first fret of the B, and our third finger on the second fret of the high E string. Okay, so this is like an inverted D major chord. So we're going from the D major, D major seven, D seven, back up to the D major seven. And that's the majority of like the intro and the verses, okay? So now let's talk about strumming pattern. The first chord starts with the down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Do that with me, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. One more time. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Now every chord following that just modifies that slightly. We have a down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Just add some ups in there. Down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Do that with me. Down, up, down, down, up, up, down, 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 up. Same thing for the third chord. And the fourth. So we have this. Now that doesn't change until the end of the first verse where instead of going to the D major seven chord at the end of this run, we go to a G major. So we have D, D major seven, D seven, then to a G major chord. To play a G major chord, we're going to place our middle finger on the third fret of the low E string. Our first finger on the second fret of the A string. Our third finger way down here on the third fret of the B. And our pinky on the third fret of the high E. Okay, so the last line of the verse will sound like this. Then we get into the chorus. The chorus starts with an E minor chord. To play an E minor chord, we're going to place our middle finger on the second fret of the A string, then our third finger on the second fret of the D string, okay? That's an E minor chord. Coming from the E minor chord, we then have an A major chord. To play an A major chord, we're just gonna bar across the second fret of the D, the G, and the B strings. You're also gonna let your A string ring out. Now, alternatively, you could use your first finger on the second fret of the D, your middle on the second fret of the G, and your third finger on the second fret of the B, but I find that is a little claustrophobic to me. Either way is correct. Pick what's most comfortable for you. Coming from the A major, we go to a D major, which we already learned, and then we're off to a B minor. To play a B minor chord, we're going to place our first finger on the second fret from the capo on the A string, our third finger on the fourth fret of the D string, our pinky finger on the fourth fret of the G, and our middle finger on the third fret of the B string. Okay, so E minor, A major, D major, B minor, okay? The strumming pattern is a down, down, and then the second chord, up, up, down, down. Down, down, up, up, down, down. So it's down, down, and up, up, down, down. That with me down down up up down 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 up up down down very good so that's the first line the second line changes just one thing instead of going to the b minor we go to the d7 so we have e minor a major d major d7 so the second line will sound like this okay okay so let's do the first line and then the second line together
Then right there, we hit the third line. The third line goes from E minor, A, D, and right here after the D, so the D, we then go to a D over C sharp, which is the D chord, but we just add our pinky finger on the fourth fret from the capo on the A string. We just do downwards twice. So down tw twice on the D, down twice on the D over C sharp, and then we're to a B minor seven. To play a B minor seven, it's like the B minor chord. You just gotta make sure you're barring with your index finger and you take your pinky finger off. Okay, so we have this D, D over C sharp, B minor seven. Then we go to a D over A, which is just a D major chord, but you also include the A string open. Okay, so you have this like D, D over C sharp, B minor seven, D over A. And right here we get a really fancy chord that I'm super stoked about. We put our middle finger on the third fret of the low E string, and it also mutes the A string. You don't want that ringing out. And you put your first finger on the second fret of the high E. And you do like the whole down, down, up, up, down, down, there. So this third line will sound like this. It's a lot, I know. So E minor, A major, D, 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 C over C sharp, B minor seven, D over A. And then we go to an A sus four, which is like the A major chord we talked about. This time we're going to play it like this with our pinky finger just added onto the third fret of the B string. Play that words downwards twice. And then just the normal A major chord. So that third line in totality will sound like this. I'll do it slowly. Whole chorus now. Let's do the whole chorus all together. So that leads you back into the intro, which in this intro, we are going to stop on the last chord, and I'll show you what I mean. Stop there, pause for a second, and then we're back into the verse. After the second verse, we get into the second chorus, and then the second chorus drops us into an instrumental part. I'll show you what you do there. In the instrumental, we go two times through the intro chord progression, so. One more time. Pause there, and then we go into the first two lines of the chorus, basically. Then after that, you have a normal chorus, just like a full chorus, and then you're into the outro, which is the same as the intro chord progression, but you play it four times, and you land on a big fat D major chord, and that, my friends, is how you play this song, Kiss Me. If you have a song request, comment it or DM me. If you wish to be notified of future videos, hit that bell. I sincerely hope that you are well. Please do me a favor and hit that like button blue. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe too. I hope this video has been a blessing. You've been watching. Logan's Lessons.